Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate our God in word and in sacrament, we come to begin a new liturgical year. We come to begin a year of grace. We come to experience God's invitation once again in the midst of our lives to embrace him. The invitation of God is always to embrace him in Jesus Christ. As we celebrate his word, as we celebrate his sacrament, it is a response on our part to respond to God, to embrace him in Jesus Christ, and to live this life of grace. For the times that we have failed to follow our God in Jesus Christ, let us open our hearts and place ourselves before his reconciling love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the eternal kingdom. Through that same Christ our Lord, amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To To you, you, O Lord, Lord, I I lift lift my my soul. soul. Your ways, O Lord, made known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and for you I wait all the day. To To you, you, O Lord, Lord, I lift lift my my soul. soul. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble in his way. To To you, you, O Lord, Lord, I I lift lift my soul. soul. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. To To you, you, O Lord, Lord, I I lift lift my my soul. soul. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts, to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God. And as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more, for you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And on earth, nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness, and the anxieties of daily life, and that day and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations and that eminent to and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. Today we do begin a new liturgical year. We begin a new year of grace, this year of Advent. It is a time in which we kind of put our last year to rest, if you would, and begin a new year to start over. That's not always an easy thing. I was with my mom the other day and uh, she was starting to shop for some Christmas gifts. And she doesn't drive and so um, I had to take her to the store and we were looking for something. And I said, Mom, we can't seem to find it here. How about if I just go online and find it for you? And of course, not knowing anything about computers, not having any idea what going online means, she said, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you can find the gift, okay. I said, okay. It was last Monday. And I did go online, and I found the gift that she was looking for. And so I called her the next day, Tuesday, and I said, Mom, you don't have to worry. I found the gift. I'll bring it up to you when I come home. And she said, oh, great. I really appreciate that. And she said, now I won't have to be nervous or anxious about getting that gift. And I said, yeah, Ma, you don't have to worry about it. And then she said, well, what will I worry about then? We always seem to have to have something to worry about. And the great fear of putting something to rest is that we don't have something ready to be worried about. So I thought I'd help my mom. I said, okay, mom. I said, here's a few things you could be worried about. And after I suggested a few things, she got the point. And of course, she said a few things to me only a mother can say or would say to me. And I said, there you have it, mom. She said, oh, okay, you're always right, aren't you? I said, no, most of the time. I share that with you because that's what this time is all about. It's about giving things up. But when we give them up, do we kind of forget about them? And now I'm talking about the things that really don't advance our relationship with Christ. Would all of the Christmas gifts that you're going to get and all the Christmas gifts that you're not going to get, all the things you're going to get correct and all the things you're not going to get correct, this is going to fit, that won't fit, this is right, that's not right. Will all that anxiety move you to Christ? 
then give it up. And if you give it up, you got to forget about it. Just forget about it. That's what this day is all about. It's about giving it up and just forgetting about it. And not to be anxious about the things that we really don't need to be anxious about because they don't further us in our relationship with Christ. If Advent means anything, it means to prepare ourselves and to be focused on the things that do matter in our life. First among them needs to be Christ. These first two Sundays of Advent are really very much focused on the second coming of Christ. We believe in faith that, that, uh, that I guess for our own benefit, Christ is coming twice. <laughs> you know, maybe once is not good enough. He came once, we know that. In history, we know that. In time and in space, he came. He became a flesh. He became a child. He became one with us, just like us. That's the incarnation. That's the two last Sundays of Advent. The third and fourth Sunday of Advent really focus on that incredible event. God is with us. That's the great thing about our God. He's with us. He's not something distant. He's right here close to us as our next breath. And not only is, as, is he as close as that next breath, is that he knows the next breath because he was here taking one with us. That's how close God is. But I guess that wasn't good enough for us. So Jesus said, I'll be back. I'll be back after his entire public ministry, after his passion, death, and resurrection. He said, I'll be back. I'll be back. For what? So that where I am, you will be, is a simple way to put it. So that where I am, you may be. Not just now, but for eternity. So the first two Sundays, today and next Sunday, focus on the second coming of Christ. We believe that the second coming of Christ, he's going to take all of us with him. All of us. See, he's already gone there. And he awaits us patiently. And he just simply awaits us in the same anticipation that we ought to be waiting for him. You see? And so it's almost like he's saying to us, whispering in our ears, I am with you. Come to where I am. I am with you. Come to where I am. That's these first two Sundays. How well do we get it? How well do we put aside the things that, that don't take us to Christ and embrace the Christ that is here with us for all time? And so it's kind of like with mixed emotions we have this season of Advent. It's a time of hope, because that's who we are. We are people of hope. When all else fails, we still have hope. And that's the greatest sign of you and of me. We hope. Not for the silliness. Not we were hoping that we might have won that great lottery. But we have won a greater lottery, haven't we? One that we can't squander, but one that we do. Treasure these moments. Treasure these Christ moments. They are an advent. Advent means coming. He is coming. Not only at the end of time, but in time. And so we celebrate that great advent of God. A God who is here with us, who is waiting for us in anticipation. And he hopes that we have that same anticipation as he patiently waits for us. May we patiently wait for him and come to know the Christ who joins us all together as one in our God. We are a people of faith. Let us together profess our faith in the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, in God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, his, his only Son, our Lord, Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the, in the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy, Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of sins, sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Trusting in the boundless mercies of our God, let us open our hearts in these prayers of petition. Let us pray that we may continue to grow in the life of Christ alive in each of us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we might come to respect more deeply the sacredness of all created life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That during this season of Advent, we might live in hope and expectation, not only of the Son's coming, but of his presence here with us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers that remain in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, as we open our hearts before you, we trust that you will continue to strengthen and guide us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of the mingling of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your many gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate here below gain for us eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, the power and, the glory and glory are yours, are yours now, and, now forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. May these holy mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.